So welcome to my channel uh, and I am coming up with a one of the query which has been asked by our subscriber. So I will give the answer of that particular query and as I will uh, get the time I will answer and make the videos whatever videos has been requested by our subscriber. So don't worry. So as I will get the time I will make all those videos. So moving to the without wasting any time moving to the next slide and where our subscriber one of our subscriber has asked one question that if you see this particular uh, query uh, it has been asked by Praveen Kumar that 44 AH battery can supply uh, how can supply only for 25 for 60 uh, 60 minutes as per the graph shown in the last okay so I will show you the graph which has been I have seen in that particular video and uh, how it has been shown so and then he has given this explanation also 44 minutes 40 amps per hour 60 minutes isn't it yes you are right it is correct and 44 uh, 4.4 for 10 hours and 2.2 for 20 hours you are absolutely right for this one okay but something which you have missed um, uh, I, I, I was thinking that uh, you people might be aware but not a, not a problem it's my fault that I have not explained the full uh, you know full specification of the particular battery but I have mentioned in the uh, one of the uh, you know video only that there are th three things for the battery for the uh, you know selection of any battery so the first is I have told you that is AH then I have told you RC so RC is reserve capacity and then one is the CCA that is cold cranking ampere okay cold cranking ampere so these are the three things when we select any battery what are the specification now I will show you all those three graphs were related to this AH RC and CCA for 44 AH battery so I will show you but the, the explanation which you have given that is correctly correct uh, uh, that is correct so I'm just moving to the that graph which I have explained there so this is the state of charge and this is my timing so if you see we have the 10 uh, you know parts of this particular graph here so one particular is having for two hours it is four hours and it is six hours and like that we have the 20 hours okay so here I have the 120 minutes on this you know this particular one part of this this is 120 minutes okay so I think everyone has understood this that 2.2 amps of 20 hours each uh, amps of current will be provided by 44 AH battery for 20 hours it will drain till here so this is the definition of amp H okay AH ampere hours okay but it will drain okay it will drain state state of charge would be zero at this condition okay so this is my AH graph okay then there is a one more term comes that is RC okay so RC means reserve capacity so this particular graph is for RC not for AH okay then this third graph is for the CCA okay this define the CCA so what is AH as I already told you 40 AH suppose uh, if I am taking 40 AH means then it should give 2 amps for 20 hours 44 a, uh, AH then it should give me 2.2 AA ampere of current for 20 hours okay so this is the definition of ampere hour now coming to the rc rc what rc tells so basically rc is used for the uh, reserve capacity and it take tells you the time in the minutes okay if you can see here it tells you the time in the minutes and at particular temperature it tells so what it tells there is a particular certain current if the battery supply 25 amps of current till the final voltage of a cell is 1.75 per cell okay if your battery voltage or you can understand like this if your battery voltage drop do, does not drop below the 10.5 volt till that time till that time if your battery is providing 25 amps that particular ampere capacity is called and uh, the uh, the reserve capacity of that particular battery so what does it mean so suppose mm, i am taking from my battery 25 amps of current for particular certain time okay so that certain time should be should be in that certain time your battery voltage should not go below the 10.5 or 1.75 volt 
per cell okay okay that certain time tells about the how long your battery can sustain or can run the car okay so so suppose my 25 amps of current can be given for 2 hours by one battery and its battery voltage does not drop below this 10.5 volt then it calls my rc and it is if you see here it is used to give the indication how long the battery could run your car if charging system was not working so suppose one question can come that your rc for that particular uh, uh, battery what is your battery rc when your charging system is not working charging system is alter if your alternator is not working then how long your battery will be able to run your car this is called rc so suppose i am doing 44 ah battery you mean you know amps and hours okay so suppose if i am taking 25 amps so how many how many uh, hours uh, it can sustain so you can divide like this 44 upon 25 so it comes around 105 minutes okay so this particular graph shows like this but i don't want till that it it will become zero if i take 25 amps of current okay 25 of current till 105 minutes then my battery state would be zero state of charge would be zero and this is what i don't want this does not represent the reserve capacity reserve capacity represent that i am taking the 25 amps of current at 25 degree centigrade and my battery voltage is not dropping below the 10.5 volt that is called my rc so in this case i can uh, take the current from 105 minutes but this is not my rc this is become zero uh, you know your state of charge will become zero but i want my state of charge should be in that condition that my voltage would be 10 10.5 volt at least it should not drop below the 10.5 okay now your question would be what should be my soc state of charge of my battery that my voltage should not go below 10.5 that would be your question okay so i will give you one graph in the next video which will explain what is the soc of the battery and how much uh, voltage of the particular battery for 12 volt battery should be for 100 percent 75 percent 70 percent soc how much voltage it would be having but as of now you understand this particular graph was for the rc it was not for the this particular thing and rc is defined for 25 amps for 60 minutes okay for 25 for 60 minutes so for 44 ah battery will have a reserve capacity about 60 minutes okay so this is the one point then the third graph was for cca cca is not nothing but the cold cranking amps so in reserve capacity that this question can be asked in interview that what it defines and uh, uh, what will happen if your charging system is not working how you will define that your battery can run your car so this question can be asked then cca cold cranking amps battery are given a rating to indicate a performance at high current output at low temperature low temperature how much it should be minus 80 degree as its name suggests that is cold cranking cold cranking is used mainly when you are having a low temperature and you want to start your engine it plays a very vital role in that case if you do not have a good cold cranking amps for your battery then there is a chances that you will not be able to start your car in a uh, you know cold regions okay so what it defines a value of 170 means that battery will supply this current for a minute at a temperature of minus 80 degree at which point the cell voltage would not be fall 1.4 4 volt okay according to bs standard this is british standard so there would be some different different standard like din standards they will be having different they are taking for one minute they might be taking for 30 second or 60 uh, you know or 45 seconds so uh, these are the different different standard for which this particular uh, you know cold cranking amps for the battery is defined but as of now you just understand that uh, your uh, cell voltage here also that there is a condition 
that 170 amps of current for a minute for a minute but your voltage should not fall 1.4 volt per cell okay or you can say 7.5 okay volt of your battery okay that also you can say okay if you have the 12 volt battery okay so this is how the cold cranking amps also defines so i hope you got the clear uh, you know picture that how these particular three graphs are there and don't please don't mix them with the ah so first one is ah second one is rc and third one is the cca so for cca cold cranking rating they do have different as i told you that different standard they, they might be very so for the second so bs i told you that like that uh, we have the 60 second but for din and sa we have the 30 second only okay so that's why the cca also vary battery to battery and standard to standard as well and there are depends on the for like 44 ah suppose i take the lithium ion battery there might be a different cca and if i take the lead acid battery then there might be a different cca okay so this depends on the uh, battery you know construction as well and what type of material you are using that cca so i hope this particular graph you might get that what we are trying to say he in this particular thing okay if you still have some confusion please comment uh, i will try to explain again thank you very much